Picture this, you're living in one of Canada's bustling cities, but you're struggling to keep up with skyrocketing housing prices. It's a reality for many Canadians today, as the cost of homes in major urban centres from Toronto to Vancouver has shot up dramatically in recent years. You may hear stories of young families bidding far beyond their budget just to secure a modest home, or of seniors who've lived in their neighbourhoods for decades now finding themselves priced out. The statistics paint a stark picture, too. The Canadian Real Estate Association reports that national home prices have nearly doubled in the past decade. This rapid escalation in prices has made home ownership a distant dream for many, particularly for first-time buyers and those without a substantial financial backing. The repercussions of this housing crisis extend beyond the financial. It's also about the stress of housing insecurity, the widening gap between the property rich and the property poor, and the impact on our quality of life. The strain of high housing costs can mean less money for other necessities, such as food, education or healthcare. For some, this unaffordable housing market is a push factor, driving them to seek opportunities elsewhere. They're packing their bags, bidding farewell to their hometowns and setting off in search of more affordable living conditions. So with housing prices soaring and financial stress mounting, it's no surprise that some Canadians are seeking more affordable pastures. Two recent studies raise concerns about Canada's ability to retain immigrants and highlight affordability issues within the country. Findings from the Institute for Canadian Citizenship and the Conference Board of Canada in 2023 warned that immigrants are increasingly leaving for better opportunities. Statistics Canada research earlier in the month revealed that over 15% of immigrants choose to leave the country within 20 years of obtaining permanent resident status. Characteristics such as gender, country of origin and socio-economic factors influence immigrant emigration. For instance, male immigrants, those from economically developed countries and those with higher education levels or incomes are more likely to emigrate. With between 200,000 and 300,000 immigrants entering Canada annually on average and over 50% of the population born outside the country as of 2021, the nation's population growth in the coming decades may heavily rely on foreign migration. Now, let's shift gears and look at the state of immigration in Canada. The Canadian dream has long been a beacon for many, but the journey to actualize this dream is often fraught with obstacles. Lengthy processing times, rigorous bureaucracy combined with shortage of housing has become a painful experience for many expats seeking to make Canada their home. This, coupled with an ever-increasing backlog of immigration applications, is not only discouraging potential newcomers, but also causing many current residents to reconsider their ties to this great nation. Moving on to the job market, we find a somewhat gloomy picture. While Canada boasts a diverse economy, the opportunities within it seem to be shrinking, especially for young professionals and skilled workers. Many are finding that their career growth is stunted, with limited upward mobility and wage stagnation becoming all too common. According to Statista, the unemployment rate in Canada rose to 6.25% in 2024, with a year-on-year -year growth in unemployment. This lack of economic opportunity is not just a mere inconvenience, it's a significant factor compelling Canadians to seek out better prospects abroad. Add to this the allure of potentially higher wages, better working conditions and more robust career trajectories, and it's easy to see why more and more Canadians are packing their bags and heading for foreign shores. With limited economic opportunities, it's clear why Canadians are looking across borders for a better life. Now. How about the government's role in all of this? It's impossible to ignore the impact of government policies and forecasts on Canadians' confidence in their country's economic future. Government decisions shape the economic landscape, influencing everything from job creation to housing affordability. When these policies fail to meet citizens' needs, confidence among the public wanes gradually. Recent reports paint a somewhat gloomy picture of Canada's economic recovery and living standards. Pessimistic forecasts can trigger a sense of uncertainty, making Canadians question whether their homeland can provide a secure and prosperous future. This doubt, coupled with perceived government mismanagement, may be driving some Canadians to seek better prospects elsewhere. The implications of Canada's economic challenges are far-reaching, affecting residents' livelihoods and aspirations. 
When individuals feel their government isn't effectively managing the economy, it can prompt them to consider whether their aspirations might be better realized in a different country. In the end, it's about stability. Canadians, like everyone else, want a stable economy, a responsive government and a bright future. When these elements seem lacking at home, it's only natural to start looking beyond borders. So it seems that Canadians' confidence in their government and economy is dwindling, pushing them to look for stability elsewhere. So, where exactly are Canadians heading? Well, the answer might surprise you. According to the United Nations, the top destinations for Canadian emigrants are the United States, Britain, Australia and New Zealand. These countries offer a plethora of job opportunities, competitive cost of living, appealing lifestyle options and a better climate. However, our search doesn't end there. Recent data from Numbio, an online platform that compares the cost of living in various cities worldwide, suggests that Canadians are also exploring other destinations. Mexico, Spain, Portugal and France are all emerging as potential relocation spots. What's driving Canadians to these countries? A combination of factors, economic opportunities, social welfare, affordable housing, healthcare and lifestyle preferences, and, of course, the allure of a warmer climate. The diversity of these destinations reflects the varied motivations and aspirations of Canadians considering relocation. From the bustling streets of New York to the tranquil beaches of Portugal, Canadians are indeed heading in all directions. The reverse immigration of Canadians from their homeland is not a simple issue with a single cause, but rather a complex phenomenon driven by a multitude of factors, all interconnected and influencing one another. The stress of finding affordable housing, the fear of housing insecurity and the widening gap of intergenerational wealth are all contributing to a decreased quality of life for Canadians. It's no wonder that so many are choosing to seek better opportunities elsewhere. These obstacles are not only discouraging potential expats and international students, but are also causing current residents to reconsider their ties to the country. Government policies and forecasts play a significant role in shaping the confidence Canadians have in their country's economic future. The implications of these economic challenges on residents' livelihoods and aspirations cannot be overstated. It's not just about housing or jobs or government policies, but a combination of all these factors and more. Each individual's decision to leave their homeland is shaped by their unique circumstances, their hopes, their dreams and their fears. As we reflect on the insights we've gained today, we invite you to take a moment to consider your own circumstances. How are these issues affecting you? What implications do the housing crisis, immigration challenges and government economic policies have on your life? These are not just Canadian issues, they are global issues affecting people from all walks of life. In fact, we have explored the ongoing housing crisis in Australia. The condition is so bad that even full-time workers are likely to face homelessness in Australia. Do check out the video. Link is in the description. Thank you for joining us today. Remember to comment your thoughts below and hit the like if you've enjoyed the video so far. Until next time, take care.